Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Someone in the comments asked me to do a tutorial where I can show you how you can set up a simple tempo meter um, display. So I prepared something for you. Um, so we have a pointer, we have the display for RPM and we have a um, display for tempo meter. So when you have the vehicle template, so the basic one, when you start you see that it count the tempo and the gears so but we want it more complicated a little bit better to see so what we're gonna do is right click user interface we create a widget let's call it tempo meter so here we go and when we open it you can see um, the canvas where you can put some uh, items in, so let's grab an image, put it right here, so then we select our tempo meter image. Um, that's pretty simple, I just googled an image where you can find a tempo meter and imported it to Unreal Engine, so nothing complicated. So when we go here and say brush, then we can select it, so let's put it to this size so it's show up and uh, what we also need is a um, blueprint class and when you search for hut then we create a new hut let's call this uh, my hut whatever and when you open this one you can go to the event graph and here you can lead lead this so we need an event receive draw hat so and then we do a cast to sedan here we go and get owning porn put this inside here and then we simply say create widget Okay, then we select our tempo meter and just for simple let's say add to viewport so and then we can put our return value inside here compile save so let's see if that works so we go to project settings maps and modes and change this to my hut or whatever you call it and then when you hit play, as you can see, there's our tempo meter. So, but uh, yeah, we didn't have to fill it out right now. So let's call this um, tempo meter. Oh. So that we can recognize it. So it's also variable, so we can use it inside here. So we need another image, so we put it right here. Go back to the pointer and click on the arrow then we set the size to something like that put it right here so um, two things we have to change so the first problem is that the uh, when you set the angle you can see it, it just moving a circle but not like we want so we have to set this one to 0 0.75 and this one to 0 0.5 and now as you can see it's better so simple um, go to the the edges and so when you type this to 1 um, it has a different angle but I would leave it to 0 0.75 and yeah put it right here and now it's pretty good okay but if you leave it to 0 as you can see it just stand on 20 but we want it to 0 so we just set it to minus 31 and a little bit more like that 
Yeah, looks fine. Okay, and when we compile and save this and hit play, then yeah, it's this is on zero, but so what we need now is a function that displays the speed on this tempo meter. So we go back to the HUD and we need the function of the sedan. But first of all, we go back to the vehicle blueprint, to the sedan. And what we need here, I would um, delete this one to make it easier. So also this one. So we just have the event tick on the update tag and it updates the HUD strings. So we go to this function, update HUD strings. So it comes with a vehicle template and we delete this append and we have to change the speed string type to float, change variable and we can directly put it this inside here and what we also need is to unplug this one then we say get engine rotation speed and promote this to a variable and we will call this rpm this play string <laughs> i know it isn't a string but make it easier to explain and then we can plug inside this and this to this one so now we have to delete the setup in car hut because we didn't need it and compile save. We go back to the HUD, put this up here. We can unplug this one. So, and we go to the tempo meter and just let's rename the pointer to, oh, pointer. So it is always uh, variable. And then we are able to set it right here when we go to the return value of the create widget and then we can say get pointer and now we can say set render uh, where it is transform angle so and now we can put this right here this one into here. So now we need from the sedan get speed display string that we created and this one will be float multiplied with float and this comes 1.5 then float minus float 31 then we put it into the angle and then we can put this one inside here this one inside here so we had compile save let's test it so we hit play and if we drive forward you can see it works pretty good so the explanation for that is when we go back to the tempo meter and like we said it, we have the minus angle from 31 and if we go to the max, that would be 209, it is on 160, so we have to do 209 plus 31, so we have the whole angle, and then divide it by 160 and it will be, as you could imagine, <laughs> 1.5. So that's the whole reason for that. And now the next thing what we want to do is display the gear that's currently in. So when we drive, we can see also the gear. So we go back to the tempo meter. Let's say text and we put a simple text down here. Text block in this case. We can leave it right this one, put it a little bit smaller, put it down here and call this uh, gear, make it variable, and put it in the center so it looks better, compile, save, 
So we go back to my hut and then we take S sedan get gear string display string and we say from this one we say get gear and then we can say set text like that then we have to go from here into here so that it will be set it and then we can put it right here it will automatically convert it and then we hit compile save and when we now drive you can see it's neutral and when we drive forward it will change the gears and we can see what gear is currently active yeah looks pretty good so the last thing that we want to set will be that the RPM is also be displayed and so we go back to the tempo meter go for another image put it right here and select the RPM image click on the arrow put it also to 205, 205 or whatever you want put it right here just to explain so we can name this one to RPM and then we can duplicate the pointer to make it easier so we let's call this pointer RPM select it and then we can just oh, where is oh not the corner and we had the Z order to 1 put it right in the middle like that let's see if that works yeah, that's okay so minus 31 okay compile save and like always it will display it but didn't do anything so we go to my hut from the sedan we say get rpm display string put right here and from the return value from the widget we say get pointer rpm and from this we say set render transform angle like the pointer from the tempo meter and then we can plug this into this one this to this so first of all we will do the RPM then the tempo meter and then the gear so we have to set the angle so like down here so we have to say float defeat by float and put this to 40 and then float minus float because we have to do the same thing like down here put it right there yeah okay compile save let's see play and yeah as you can see the RPM works the tempo meter works the gear change works yeah pretty good okay so there's just one thing we have to fix because if we drive to the maximum speed the angle will just overlap and that's not good so we go back to my heart um, unplug this one then we go from here to say float is uh, below another float put this to 209 then we need a branch and put the condition inside here we take this inside here move it a little bit okay and when it's true then it will continue then we have also put the angle inside here and when we now compile and save this so it does will do it will always check if the angle is under 209 if not it will just stay there so when we now drive to the maximum speed then 
you will see let's drive to the end of the road so and when it hits the 160 mark it will just stay there and can't overlap okay yeah so um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any questions please let me know uh, yeah goodbye